four things to do when you are fasting. Four things to do when you are fasting to attract quick answer. There are many of you who tell me you fast, you are fasted, and yet no result. True fasting must involve these four things, except you just starved yourself, except you are fasting because there is no food. When you are fasting, you must do these four things. It goes with fasting. I know I've made a video on this before, but for this, I have other things that I started doing that is working while you are fasting. You are most welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Henrietta, and on this channel, I pray with you. I guide you, show you what to do to attract your blessing. So all you need to do is to join us if you are not. Subscribe and make sure you turn on the bell beside the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and share this with your friends. May God bless you. Four things to do while fasting. Number one, charity. Whenever you are fasting, on the day you are fasting, try to help someone with something. Try your best to add this to your fasting. Try to give someone something. You can give a particular amount in church that is more than your normal offering. That is if you are going to church on that day. You must not go to church while fasting. People still fast at their places of work. But if that day falls on the day you are going to church, you can just double the amount of your offering. Or give someone something. If there is anybody around you, you see that this person is struggling. You see that this person does not have enough to eat. You see that this person is financially down. At the moment, you can help them with the little you have. If you don't have money, give them food. If you don't have food, give them your advice. Advice at times, advice at times can bring blessing. Ideas, great ideas can bring wealth. Advise them. Teach them what to do to make money. If you know, if you cannot, pray for them. Prayer is also a means of charity. Many of you, you have the habit of praying only for yourself, myself my children, my parents, my, 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 my. That is a selfish prayer. At times, learn to pray for people around you. When you see that they are going through a lot, when you see that they have problems in their lives, instead of you to go mocking them, instead of you to just ignore them as if it is not your business, why not say a word of prayer for them? Even when you are not fasting, it is good to always give out and help people but very paramount when you are fasting that is number one number two when you are fasting make sure you read the scripture it is very important there is nothing like fasting alone it is not biblical fasting and prayers they go together and the most powerful form of prayer is for you to pray with the words of the Lord. You can't just be using your words every time. Our words is powerless. Our words cannot move the devil. But when you read the scripture, you use the words of the Lord to pray and prophesy into your life. You personalize it. Like in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I will not lack any good thing because the Lord is my shepherd because he has lied me in green pasture use the words of the Lord in the Bible to pray when you do this you are holding God to his words God does not go back on his words he is not a man he does not promise and fail there is nothing God holds holds dearly than his word at times, you pray like this, Oh Lord, let your word 
in Psalm 23 be established in my life. No matter your problems, there are different scriptures that is addressing that thing, just that you have not been able to find that. Whether you are sick, we have scriptures for healing. If you need financial blessing, we have scriptures for that. Whatever you need, there is a word of the Lord that is addressing that situation. So learn to read the Bible, not only when you are fasting, but very important when you are fasting. Read the Bible and use the words of the Lord to pray. Number three, most importantly, praises and worship. Always learn to worship the Lord. Always learn to sing. When you sing, you pray twice. If you have a good voice, if you can sing very well, make good use of it. Singing is more powerful than prayers. Quote me anywhere. When you sing and praise God, it is more powerful than praying. What is prayer? When you keep on demanding, God give me, God give me. Why not start thanking God for that thing you are praying for? See, let me tell you, one great way to get your testimony. There was a time I wanted something. I prayed and prayed, no result. But I started thanking God for that thing. At times, most of these things you are praying for, God has released your blessing. When God releases your blessing, it is released spiritually first. And that is why you see men of God, seers, people who have discerning spirit, they will tell you, by this time next year, something will happen. Something good will happen. Because your blessing has been released. God wants you to praise Him. To praise Him. To bring that into existence. Because immediately, your blessing is released. Don't think the devil will fold his hands and allow you progress. The thief has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So the devil himself is fighting. So one great way to get fast answer is for you to praise God. Never you fast without praising God, without saying a prayer of thanksgiving, without reading psalms of thanksgiving, without worshiping God. Never you fast, because if you do, that fasting is not complete. You worship God, and you will see the manifestation of His power. When you tell God you are powerful, when you tell God you are great, when you tell God you are capable, He will show you His capability. He will show you His greatness. He will change your life. Then finally, a major important thing that you should always do when you fast is cleansing. What is this cleansing? Cleansing is very important and very easy. This is something you should be doing every day. But if you cannot, no problem. Just get a bucket of water and add anointing oil, a blessed oil, and pray on it. Read Psalm 23, read Psalm 91, prayer of protection prayer of provision and tell God what you want and tell God to wash away whatever you don't want in your life. After all, the major purpose of fasting is for God to remove problems. If there is an impossible situation in your life, if there is a strong problem in your life, if there is anything you are going through financially, maritally, in any area of your life that you want God to put an end to. That is why you fast. You can also fast to tell God to provide for you if there is a particular thing that you need, whether you need a good job, you need to get married, you need the fruit of the womb, you need any kind of blessing, it is from the Lord. So make sure you speak your wishes, you pray to God to bless that water, that as you use that to bait, everything negative in your life will leave. Tell God to bless you with abundance. Make sure when you are fasting, you always pray on your baiting water. If you are fasting for three days, do this morning and night. Anytime you are baiting, add anointing oil and say your prayers. 
Tell God what you intend to achieve from that fasting. Tell God what you want. Tell God what you are going through. Tell God that as you bathe with this water, what you want to attract in your life and what you want God to remove in your life. Yes, it is subtraction and addition. God is removing and replacing. God is removing sickness and replacing with good health. He's removing poverty, replacing with wealth. So when you are done, you take your bath. So when you are fasting, always learn to pray on your bathing water. You add anointing oil. Read the scripture. Pray on it. And take your bath. Anytime you are fasting, that is purification. It works very fast. It works very fast. I know that God can still bless you without this. But it is good you do cleansing while you are fasting to make your fasting very powerful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends.